What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Jim Leader Geo, and I guess I should be saying welcome back to the gym because I've been on a long hiatus for um, a lot of reasons, and I'm going to try and get into that really quickly. I don't want to speak too much about it because I don't really want to bore you guys. I know you guys are here for Pokemon content, but in case any of you were wondering, and a lot of you stuck around, I didn't lose that many subscribers when I was gone, so I really do appreciate that. Uh, that you guys stuck around for me or just forgot that I existed and never de-subbed for me. But I'm back now. Here's a quick little rundown. Uh, a few months ago, I started a new job. I moved to a new area and had some really shaky things going on with my personal life that kind of made me uh, a much worse presenter whenever I was on camera. I was still doing my LPs at the time. I've got a couple of LP uh, sessions that I haven't released yet that I just look miserable in. I have no charisma. I wasn't, I just, I wasn't in a good place, but I'm much more comfortable with my job and my work schedule now. I'm, uh, <laughs> I've found people in my life that make me happy and I'm good to go again. I, I did a little run through earlier today and I thought that my presentation skills were, to be honest, quite on point. No, I'm just kidding. But hey, we're going to get into a match right now and I've got a little fun thing for you guys. So I thought... GLG the return, right? It's got to be something special. What gym should I do? And I was like, you know what? It's got to be more than that. It's more than just a gym. So I introduced to you guys a team I just built this morning while I was lying in bed. It's called... These chicks don't even know the name of my band. And it is a six Pokemon choice band team. Every single one of these Pokemons have a choice band. So let's go over the roster, ladies and gentlemen. We have the gentleman. The Choice Banded Landorus Therian. I love Choice Banded Landorus Therian. He's such a, like, bait-and-switch lead Pokemon with such a hard-hitting U-turn. Um, I have him with the speedy attack variant because I need a little bit of speed on my team. Even though he's not that fast, I felt like it worked really well. I do have Stealth Rock on him, so I can kind of bluff that, or if I really do need Stealth Rock to counter a couple, uh, a couple of Pokemon that would otherwise give my team a pretty difficult time, Talonflame being one of them. Uh, after the gentleman, we have Dancing Queen, the Scizor, with a pretty standard set, Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Pursuit, and Superpower. I was considering dropping Pursuit for Defog. Even on a banded Scizor, you can come in, force a switch, and get a Defog off, and then inevitably get out that next turn. But I decided against it. I think Pursuit just works better on a choice banded Scizor. Have him with the bulky variety, because I don't really foresee him outspeeding people that much and I do need him to be a little bit of a soak for some types of damage. We've got Dragonite Sir Francis. Um, Sir Francis is running a little bit of a unique set. Normally for coverage you run Fire Punch Earthquake or you could run like Thunder Punch Super Power or something like that but I opted to go for uh, Waterfall because I wanted a little bit more um, I I've only got water type coverage on uh, one other Pokemon on this team, and it felt like it needed to be had, given my weakness in a couple of... I'm not going to... I'm not delving too deep into this. When I did my calculations, Waterfall provided coverage against a couple Pokemon I needed it to. Fire Punch will do great against the common switch-ins that I'll see from Steel types and Fairies I have other answers for. So... We're going to go over here. We've got McSmash, one of the members of the Faithful Six, making his return. Choice Banded Iron Fist. I was considering going Guts with this guy, dropping Drain Punch and going Super Power. But I just really like the out-of-the-gate power that McSmash can put in. And it, there's lots of mind games that come with playing with a McSma uh, with my Conkelder that I've, I've found great success in the past with. I really do like Conkelder. Uh, I love the Guts... Uh, ability, but I think for this team, Iron Fist makes more sense. We're gonna go on to the next one. We've got Azumarill, uh, Little Bunny Foo Foo here. Uh, he's rocking a very standard set, Waterfall, Aqua Jet, Play Rough, Knock Off. He's got enough mind games going on as to whether or not he's a Belly Drum set already, um, and whether or not he's an Assault Vest set, if he's not a Belly Drum set, whether or not he's, you know, he's already playing enough mind games. I didn't need to play around with his move set. This one works fine. We're going bulky variety. He's there to be my main ice counter because I've got two four times weaknesses there. And then secondarily to that, we have Ghost Dad, the Choice Banded Victini. He's running uh, a speedy variety, Jolly, uh, max attack and speed. And he's running also a pretty standard set, V-Create, Zen Headbutt, Bolt Strike, and U-Turn. So I'm really excited for this team. I played a couple matches with it. It's exactly like you'd expect. All of the fun 
that you really are positive you're gonna get with a six choice banded Pokemon all on one team. Um, the thing I like about this the most is the team doesn't look like it would be all choice bands. You know, the gentleman's the type of Pokemon that can run leftovers, bulky variety. This could be a Mega Scizor. Uh, Dragonites run Lumberries a lot, sometimes weakness policy. You know, you really gotta watch out for the Dragon Dance variety. McSmash, you expect maybe an Assault Vest most of the time. Usually not a choice band. Um, maybe like something else in like a Trick Room set. You could expect a choice band on a Zoomerill, but again, often you see them with uh, Assault Vests. And then you, with Victini, yeah, maybe a choice band, usually a choice scarf or, you know, maybe leftover, something completely different. So I, I, like the, I like the way the team works. It's got pretty good defensive coverage, and overall I had a really good time playing with it, the, with just my first two practice matches to make sure that the team worked. So we're going to get into this. You guys have been really patient here, and uh, I'm just going to click here and go OU. And we're just going to look for a battle. I don't even... Server is shutting down. Battles cannot be started this time. Well, that's freaking fantastic. Let me let me be right back, guys. I'm going to pause this recording for a second. <laughs> okay, challengers, we are back. The servers are back up. I think they went down for a little while just to hot fix an issue. So um, we can hit look for a battle now. And we can see just how these chicks don't even know the name of my band work in reality. So we're up against Droll15. Uh, he is SRS Business, it looks like, and I'm feeling Hitmontop is a possible lead, Gliscor is a possible lead, uh, Darmanitan with his U-turn, that probably a Mega Pidgeot, but that might be a Mega Mega, I don't know, I don't know, I've been out for a really long time, let's see, uh, if I anticipate the Scarfed Darmanitan lead, or the Gliscor lead. I think it's fine for me to lead with the gentleman. So that's what I'm going to do. We've got a Pidgeot lead. That's an annoying noise. Let's not have that happen. Let's mute those sounds. Um, Pidgeot. <sighs> Gonna Mega Evolve right now and go straight away for a pretty hard hitting special attack. I'm positive. But you know what? Let's just, let's just go with a Stone Edge right out the gate. He is going to Mega Evolve. He's going to pop a Hidden Power Ice on me. That's great. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Off to a great start here. Let's bring in... Um... Hmm. Well, obviously not McSmash. Um, I could do something with Scizor. But I think I'm just going to go... Let's go Ghost Dad. You could predict the bolt strike here. So I'm just gonna go for the V crew instead. Pidgeot, uh, he got, hits me with a hurricane crit. That's okay, cause he's gonna go down to a choice banded V crew. And Ghost Dead, you're getting out of here, buddy. Cause you know who's coming in right now? Probably, uh, you know, a lot of people could outspeed me now that I'm down. A lot of people could outspeed me. I, uh, <laughs> I wasn't super prepared. This is sad. Look at all those stat drops right now. I'm not staying in against this. Uh, he doesn't need the rapid spin, though. We've lost the gentleman. Got good counters to hit. Let's see. He might hit me with a pursuit right now, so I'm just gonna... I have no choice. If he's gonna hit me with the pursuit, gotta stay in and... Uh, no, he's got a fake out. Shoot, I could have switched out so easily there. Now he thinks I'm going to stay in, though, so I could easily switch out. Now, how can I really punish this fool? Because I got Zen Headbutt on Ghost Dad, but Ghost Dad is now uh, very, very weak. I could go... Let's go Foo Foo. Let's see what he's got here. He's got a Sucker Punch. Very good. Sucker Punch. And... Uh, yeah, with him on tops, in the situation of that switch, I was scared maybe, um, I wasn't anticipating the fake out, but Pursuit Sucker Punch, for sure. If I hit him with a play rough here, who does he have for it? Uh, Metagross. Metagross, but Metagross can't be a Mega. I'm pretty sure he's banned now. Dude, this is how out of it I've been, Challengers. I haven't, I haven't even seen whether or not uh, he's banned. I'm pretty sure he is banned. But either way, he's pretty slow. I can hit him with a knockoff on the switch. Hit him on top. I don't think he has anything for me. 
Maybe poison jab though. This is how out of it I am, guys. I don't have any of this knowledge right now. Let's uh Let's go with a knockoff here. He's gonna go for an earthquake. I'm gonna take off his item. He had leftovers. Okay. The unfortunate thing here is. Hmm. He went for the left. Uh... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gotten cocky here. This is still pretty low ladder ranking, so they make some weird plays. The earthquake was a, a strange decision from the hit on top, but knockoff is no longer going. It's not going to kill. It's going to be two hits, and I don't want it to have Fu for taking a bunch of extra damage. So let's get let's get Sir Francis in here. Oh, he's going to switch. I could have gone for another knockoff, but what I can do here is just go straight away for a fire punch. Um, Metagross, does Metagross carry... Does Metagross carry Ice Punch, guys? Metagross. Oh, he certainly does. That's great. Uh, let's... <laughs> Oh god, let's hit him with a fire punch anyway. I'm uh He's got a burn now. He goes for the meteor mass, get lands with the crit, but that's okay. Uh let's <laughs> go for another fire punch. Whether or not he sees that this is a choice banded Dragonite, we'll see. He goes for the bullet, the burned bullet punch, that does nothing. Metagross goes down, Sir Francis notching a quick kill. This team, guys, it's just ridiculous. You switch in someone, you're like, hmm kind of the death of prediction, because you don't just predict one turn, you predict the next several turns. Probably gonna go for a fake out here. And there's not really anyone in particular I want to take that more than Sir Francis. What do I need Sir Francis for? Outrage will kind of just do a hefty sum to a lot of these fools. Do I still need McSmash? McSmash has Ice Punch, which would be great against the Gliscor. Uh, and he's also just got a decent amount of bulk and massive power to take out a lot of these other fools. Hit on top is not that scary. He's not going to do all a whole lot of damage. Outrage would really punish people with Sir Francis, but I think I've pretty much got this game in the bag, so I can just let Sir Francis go down, I think. Just continue fire punching, but down by this much, I don't think it's going to do much. It's probably not even worth it. Let's get Scizor in here, maybe. What's Scizor going to do against anyone? Pretty much nothing. He's got three solid switch-ins, so I don't really need Scizor. Let's have Scizor absorb that fake out. He gets another crit, but 6%. Oh, no. Pursuit, of course, is going to be very low damage. Um... Bullet Punch is not going to be very effective against Darmanitan, or Clawitzer, or Gliscor. <laughs> um, let's just go for a pop of U-turn off. He goes for the high jump kick, does a hefty amount of damage. Uh, a resist- <laughs> Wow, that does so much. Let's get, uh, I could get Ghost Dead in here, and I could just start shooting off. I'm not sure. He'll probably go for a priority attack if I switch in Ghost Dad. So maybe Sir Francis lock into extreme speed? Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Let's get Sir Francis back in here. Just to make sure I don't take any extra damage at all. We're going to pop an extreme speed here so the Hitmontop doesn't get a sucker punch off on me. Because it wouldn't hit for that much, but, you know... Still worth doing. Um, that'll take out the the hit on top. I'm predicting if he brings in the Glyph score, he's gonna go for protect first turn. No, he brings in the Darmanitan. That's curious. I'm not positive why he did that. Rock slide. Could switch into McSmash, but I'm gonna outspeed him with extreme speed. And I can come in with Foo Foo after and throw out an Aqua Jet to finish him off. And I might even... I'm just going to hit him with the Extreme Speed right now. I'm not positive about his move there. He does have Rock Slide. Gets the crit again. Another crit. I think I probably would have died anyway, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. 
with the situation I'm currently in, even McSmash could come in right now, but I'm going to save McSmash. Clawitzer is the biggest issue I've got here. Might be better to go Victini here. Start throwing off Zen heads and save. Having to lock myself into a water type attack. Although, what else do I got? Clawitz are coming. Now I have to save him. I gotta save him. Technically, I don't need Dancing Queen anymore, but I'm just gonna go into Ghost Dad. Ghost Dad should outspeed unless Darmanitan is scarfed. I didn't even think about that. But then if he is, then what's the point of Ghost Dad, guys? Boppity boopity Ghost Dad. So let's just. Let's just bring in here, scout to see if he's scarfed. This is probably a mistake. That was a big mistake. I should have just. Why did I not just go in. Yeah, he's scarfed. Why did I not just go into. <laughs> Foo Foo for the immediate priority attack? Really dumb. Really dumb. Because this is going to force the exact same scenario. Even if I. Uh, so dumb. I'm really out of practice, guys, but that's okay. Six choice bands. Six choice bands. Are, I'm. I'm. I'm excited about this team actually. So there's there's the Aqua Jet. That'll take him out. I'm now locked into Aqua Jet, so Clawitzer's probably coming in. Clawitzer with a standard set of I wanna say Water Pulse, Aura Sphere, which is not very effective, Dragon Pulse maybe, which is not gonna affect me at all. Ice Beam. Forester, Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, Dragon Pulse. Yeah, most of the things aren't going to really affect me, but Aqua Jet's also not going to do a lot to him. So it might be more worth it for me to just bring in McSmash and punish, survive one hit and punish him with an Ice Punch. No, an Ice Punch, a Mock Punch. Or I could sacrifice Scizor here. Because these two will both be able to handle... Gliscor, McSmash can handle Clawitzer for sure if he gets one free attack off. Might need the Ice Punch to handle Gliscor. Let's bring in Dancing Queen here. Hopefully take one. Water Pulse now. Another crit. Wow. Wow. But that's okay. I didn't really, uh, I didn't need, I didn't need that one. McSmash. Um, might as well just go for the Drain Punch here, because he's not going to be able to one-shot me with anything. So, let's take one. Take that Water Pulse. That's a lot of damage. But that's going to... Wow, that didn't kill him. Really? Claws are bulkier than I thought, guys. So, let's see. Um... Given that scenario, I kind of need Ice Punch for Gliscor. So let's switch into Fufu on the anticipated on the anticipated Water Pulse. Pretty sure I can take it, and then pretty sure I can do six percent with a uh, a mock. There's the resist, and an Aqua Jet should finish off this Clawitzer. Yeah, that's okay. And then we got the game here. So, <laughs> a couple of really dumb moves on my part here. Uh, I'm really glad I went for the Drain Punch and not the Mock Punch there. Because that would have been really bad. Oh, actually, you know what? Mock Punch is not significantly weaker enough that I couldn't have two-hit KO him. So maybe it didn't change anything. But either way, Gliscor comes in now. I'm anticipating a Protect here, but it might be too little too late for this Gliscor because... Everything I do is going to hit him super effective now. Aqua Jet, not going to be a two-hit KO. He goes straight away for the Toxic. Now he's going to Protect. There's the Toxic Orb as activation. Um, protect. I'm anticipating the Protect here from the Gliscor. He could Roost Stall me also. He could also do that. Yeah, there's the Protect. I could have switched there into Conkelder. But... I don't think I need it. I don't really need it. Let's see whether or not he's running... He could be running sub. That wouldn't be great for me, actually. 
Now he rocks the earthquake there, but at 29%, McSmash gonna come in. He can't kill me in one hit with an earthquake. And uh, Ice Punch is just gonna finish this off. So McSmash coming in in the clutch here. Good thing I had that ice type coverage. Made a couple of really poor plays there, but the six choice bands still reign supreme. Oh, great protect, buddy. That's really gonna help you so much because this is not gonna do 200% of your total HP. I love McSmash, guys. Uh, I brought McSmash to a couple of different tournaments I've played in. He's always put in the finest of work. King Kelder, such a beast, especially because just always, oh, the sub. The sub, what a great play. What are you doing? This is, I hate Gliscor. If you guys know anything about my channel, you know I hate Gliscor because he's just a waste of time. And this guy's taking you know, like, he's not making these turns quickly, but we've seen his move pool now. He's got Toxic. Oh, he goes, he finally goes to the Earthquake, which he should have done the very first turn. Maybe it was okay for him to go for the... But whatever. We, uh, we take that victory, so that's okay. And, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna check and see how long this has been going. I didn't, I didn't really keep track of how long that match was and I'm gonna see how long this video is gonna be overall maybe we'll get another one or maybe I'll do an outro I'll see you guys in a second well challengers this match has been going on uh, that went on for about 15 minutes and you know I like to keep my videos around 20 ish minutes if I can sometimes the Wi-Fi battles go a little longer but I don't, I think this is a, a better time to just end it have a nice little return short video thank you guys so much for sticking around and i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i'm gonna have a few more pokemon showdown sessions coming out over the next little while i've got some big news for you guys that i'm not going to announce in this video because i don't want to overload you guys with uh you know personal stuff and, and all that so hopefully you guys tune into the next one uh, i'm gonna stick with this team for a little bit longer because that battle was pretty fun the ones before it have been pretty fun and i want to see uh if i can get some more some more good battles out of that. So, as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.